Picture a cityscape alive with towering skyscrapers, each one striving to touch the sky. These giants symbolize human progress and innovation, yet within this race to the top emerges a fascinating phenomenon. Vanity skyscrapers. These super-tall buildings seem to be all about reaching new heights, but here's the twist. They lack a solid reason for existing. It's like wearing a fancy outfit with nowhere to go. But what's the story behind these sky-high showstoppers? Why do they stand so tall if they don't really need to? Let's dive into the world of vanity skyscrapers and uncover the intriguing tale behind their rise. Before we begin, please smash the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. 1. The Kingdom Center, Riyadh, Saudi Arabia Kicking off, the Kingdom Center in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, is more than just a towering structure. It's a symbol of modernity and extravagance in a city steeped in tradition. Rising to a height of 302 meters, 992 feet, its unique bottle-opener shape has made it an iconic structure designed by Ellerby Beckett and Omrania. The building's elliptical shape, sky bridge at the top, and facade made of high-quality glass and steel create a shimmering effect, reflecting the desert sun. While the Kingdom Center's design is a fusion of modern architecture with traditional Islamic influences, its utilization has often been questioned. Housing a hotel, apartments, and a shopping mall, the extravagant design and inclusion of luxury amenities have led to debates about its actual purpose versus symbolic value. Critics argue that it represents vanity architecture, prioritizing aesthetics over functionality and sustainability. The construction of the Kingdom Center faced several challenges, including the integration of the Sky Bridge and adherence to specific cultural norms. Innovations in engineering allowed for a structure that is both visually stunning and structurally sound. However, the cost of construction and maintenance, along with the building's environmental impact, has been a point of contention. 2. Ryugyong Hotel, Pyongyang, North Korea In the heart of Pyongyang, North Korea, the Ryugyong Hotel has stood as an unfinished giant for decades. Its 330 meters, 1,083 feet of concrete and metal have become a symbol of ambition and failure. Conceived in the 1980s as a response to South Korea's thriving tourism industry, the Ryugyong Hotel was meant to be the world's tallest hotel. The hotel's unique pyramid shape and massive scale were designed to make a statement. However, construction halted in 1992 due to economic difficulties, leaving the building an empty shell. For years, the Ryugyong Hotel was a stark reminder of unfulfilled dreams, visible from almost every part of the city. In recent years, Efforts to complete the hotel have been renewed, but the building's purpose remains unclear. Is it a genuine attempt to boost tourism, or is it merely a vanity project? The Ryugyong Hotel's existence raises questions about the role of architecture in portraying power and prestige. 3. Burj Khalifa, Dubai, United Arab Emirates Number 3. Dubai's Burj Khalifa is not just the tallest building in the world, it's a symbol of the city's unbridled ambition and desire to be at the forefront of global innovation. Standing at an astonishing 828 meters 2,722 feet, the Burj Khalifa is a marvel of engineering and design. Its sleek, tapering form is inspired by the Hymenicalis flower, and its three-lobed footprint is an abstraction of the desert flower's structure. The construction of the Burj Khalifa was a feat of human ingenuity. It required more than 110,000 tons of concrete, 55,000 tons of steel rebar, and 22 million man-hours to complete. The tower's design incorporates cutting-edge technologies to withstand Dubai's extreme temperatures, and its construction set several world records, including the highest installation of an aluminum and glass facade. But beyond its architectural brilliance, the Burj Khalifa's purpose has been a subject of debate. While it houses luxury apartments, corporate offices, and the Armani Hotel, many of its floors remain unoccupied. The tower's sheer height and opulence have led some to question whether it serves a practical purpose or is merely a symbol of Dubai's desire to assert itself on the world stage. 4. Shanghai Tower, Shanghai, China Next up, Shanghai's skyline is graced by the twisting form of the Shanghai Tower, China's tallest building and the second tallest in the world. Rising to 632 meters, 2,073 feet, the tower's unique spiral design is more than just an aesthetic choice. It's a functional response to the city's typhoon-prone climate. The tower's twisting shape reduces wind loads, and its double-skin facade provides insulation, making it an example of sustainable design. The Shanghai Tower's construction was a monumental task, involving more than 10,000 people working around the clock. 
Its completion in 2015 marked a significant achievement in engineering, with innovations in energy efficiency and structural design. The tower's 128 floors house offices, a hotel, retail spaces, and the world's highest observation deck. However, the Shanghai Tower's occupancy has been a contentious issue. Despite its state-of-the-art design and prime location in the Lujiazui Financial District, many of its floors remain vacant. The tower's construction cost of over $2.4 billion has led to debates about its economic viability and the wisdom of investing in such grandiose projects. The tower's elevators, installed in 2014, were the world's fastest single-deck elevators at that time, capable of traveling 1,080 meters 3, feet, per minute. Despite its impressive design and features, the Shanghai Tower has faced challenges. As of 2019, 55 floors stood empty. The tower's much-talked-about outer skin, ideal for allowing natural light and cutting down on air conditioning costs, means much of the floor space can't be used. The delayed opening and the high vacancy rate have also raised questions about the tower's practicality and the decision-making behind such a massive project. 5. Abraj al Bait Clock, Tower, Mecca, Saudi Arabia in the holy city of Mecca, Saudi Arabia, the Abraj al Bait clock tower stands as a juxtaposition of religious tradition and modern extravagance. Rising to 601 meters, 1,972 feet, it's the third tallest building in the world and home to the largest clock face. The tower's grandeur is undeniable, with a lavish hotel catering to affluent pilgrims and a massive shopping mall at its base. The construction of the Abraj al Bait clock tower was part of a larger development aimed at modernizing Mecca and accommodating the growing number of pilgrims. However, the tower's opulence and scale have been subjects of controversy. Critics argue that its ostentatious design is at odds with the spiritual simplicity associated with the Hajj pilgrimage. Furthermore, the tower's construction involved the demolition of historic sites, leading to debates about cultural preservation and the commercialization of sacred spaces. The tower's existence raises questions about the balance between religious values and economic interests, tradition, and modernity. 6. The Lot World Tower, Seoul, South Korea 6. Seoul's skyline is graced by the sleek form of the Lot World Tower, South Korea's tallest building. Rising to 555 meters, 1,821 feet, the tower's elegant design is inspired by traditional Korean ceramics and calligraphy. Its completion in 2017 marked a significant achievement in engineering, with innovations in seismic design and energy efficiency. The Latte World Tower's 123 floors house offices, a luxury hotel, retail spaces, and an observation deck offering breathtaking views of Seoul. However, the tower's occupancy has been a contentious issue. Despite its prime location and state-of-the-art design, many of its floors remain vacant. The tower's construction cost of over $3.1 billion has led to debates about its economic viability and the wisdom of investing in such grand projects. Furthermore, the tower's construction faced opposition from residents and activists concerned about its environmental impact and potential safety risks. 7. Ostankino Tower, Moscow, Russia The Ostankino Tower, completed in 1967, was the tallest freestanding structure in the world until 1975. It surpassed the Empire State Building and held the record for eight years until the CN Tower in Toronto overtook it. The tower's construction was a significant achievement during the Soviet era, reflecting Russia's ambition to lead in technology and innovation. The tower's design of pre-stressed concrete resulted in a simple and sturdy structure. It stands at 540.1 meters feet, with a roof height of 385.4 meters 1,264.4 feet, and a top floor at 360.4 meters, 1,182.4 feet. The tower's floor count is equivalent to 120 floors, with a floor area of 15,000 square meters, 160,000 square feet. Ostankino Tower serves as a television and radio broadcasting tower, owned by the Unitary Enterprise Russian Television and Radio Broadcasting Network. It also features an observation platform and the Seventh Heaven Restaurant, attracting tourists and visitors. The tower has faced several challenges, including a fire in 2000 that resulted in casualties and forced evacuation. The fire knocked out virtually all television broadcasts in Moscow and the surrounding regions, raising questions about the tower's safety and maintenance. The inclusion of a visitor's observation deck and a revolving restaurant at such a height has led to debates about its practicality. The tower's maintenance costs and the challenges of keeping such a structure safe and functional have been subjects of concern. 
What other skyscrapers should have made the list? Tell us in the comments below. This brings us to the end of this video. If you liked it, please consider subscribing and sharing so we can keep bringing more content like this. See you next time.